What's going on, folks? I hope you're fired up and wired up, suited up and booted up, in the zone, ready to rock, because I know I am. Today, I'm going through five tips with you for walking through property. So for you newbie real estate investors out there, this is the video that you guys want to watch. We're getting all kinds of leads coming through our pipeline. We got all these properties that we need to walk through, but there's little intricacies and details and a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. So let's go through each one right now. Tip number one is completing your research, doing your research on your properties. Log on to the MLS, figure out what are these properties worth? What's your ARV? You wanna have this information ahead of time. Don't go to the walkthrough first and figure it out later. We gotta have it ahead of time. Some of the little intricacies and things that I like to do is one thing is I like to go on Google Maps, find the property on Google Maps, see what the condition of it is on the outside, and then I'll actually virtually walk around the block of that property. I might drive by it or go, go walk by it before my walkthrough, depending on how close I am, just to get some thorough information. I wanna go there with my gun loaded, prepared, and ready to go. Tip number two is dressing for the job. If there's one thing that drives me completely nuts, it's when people do this wrong. Let's start with the feet. Look, here's the thing. If I see you guys out there with your toes out in these properties, I'm gonna punch you right in the face. Do not have your toes out when you're walking through properties. What I recommend every time is a pair of boots. Right? Those of you that know me, you know I'm a huge boot fan. I have so many boots. But for this particular situation, and we're not talking about your fancy boots, your favorite boots. We're talking about something that's rough, that's rugged, that you can beat up, and you're okay with getting dirty, you're okay with getting messed up. The first thing I would recommend is a pair of work boots like these, but you don't necessarily have to bring those. You can bring something simple like this, nothing too crazy. Working our way up from there, pants, real simple. A pair of jeans, all day long. This is all you need. This is what it comes down to, is a simple pair of jeans. Nothing crazy at that level. Next thing is our shirts, right? For shirts, there's actually two options. Option number one is your t-shirt. Hold on one second. That's what I'm talking about. So, your first shirt is a t-shirt, like we mentioned. This is the first shirt that I would go with. However, there may be times where you wanna look a little bit more professional. Maybe you're meeting the seller at the property, and you wanna just take it up a little bit, right? Cause we're gonna move into tip number three in a minute, right? But you wanna take it up just a little bit and, and execute a little bit more. That's where I would recommend bringing in some sort of a button up or a collared shirt. Boom, right? So you're just adding that little bit of flair, a little bit of level, maybe button a few buttons on it and make yourself look presentable at this point. But again, I wouldn't go with your favorite dress shirt in the closet, right? I would pick something that you're okay with getting beat up a little bit, right? Something that's a little bit, a little bit thicker fabric, maybe a little bit easier to work with, and something that you're okay with getting cobwebs on. Speaking of cobwebs, top of the head, bring a hat with you if you're someone who doesn't like getting cobwebs in the hair. Man, mess my hair all up, jacking everything up here. Jeez, oh man. And that brings us to tip number three. Tip number three is equipping your car. There are certain scenarios where you might need to have some tools. If you're going to look at a board up, you need some drills, my friend. Maybe you need to bring a hammer with you, something like that. Grab some gloves, some simple construction gloves on here. Right, this is when we're looking real stylish at this point. Throw those gloves on, have some fun. And then my favorite, a pair of safety glasses. All right, styling and profiling. I don't know, what do you think? Should I keep this on for the rest of the video? I don't know. So, that's tip number three is equipping the car. But with all of these pieces, the most important thing that you need to have in your car is a flashlight. As a real estate investor, it's your job to invest in a great flashlight. I like to buy flashlights separate than my phone. And here's the reason why. Lots of times in these properties, I'm holding my flashlight over top of areas where I really don't wanna drop my flashlight. However, if I drop a $30 flashlight, I'm not too worried about it. If I drop my phone, I'm really worried about it at that point. Plus. There's different levels of light that you can get from different flashlights, and you just can get some really, really awesome ones pretty inexpensively. This flashlight was 30 bucks from the hardware store. I recommend investing in a great flashlight if you're gonna be a full-time real estate investor. That's something that you need to do. And that brings us to tip number four. The most important thing that we need to bring with us to any walkthrough that we ever do is an agreement of sale. That's right, an agreement of sale, baby. The most important thing that we need to bring with us. Why? Because of tip number five. 
Tip number five is understanding your objective. We need to understand that our objective is to get this agreement of sale signed every single time. If you're meeting the seller there and you don't have an agreement of sale with you, take that hammer that you used to get in the front door and hit yourself in the head with it, right? We need to bring this with us every single time and get that sale closed. Get the agreement of sale signed and you, my friend, will be good to go. So that's it, five simple tips for walking through properties. I hope this helped. If I see you at these properties with your toes out, you know what's coming. Hope that helps you out in your real estate endeavors. Remember, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and interact with me. If you like these style of videos, let me know down below in the comments. I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how we're doing, how we can grow this channel, and how we can make it even more epic. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Is it rolling? Yeah. Oh geez, look at that. See, I don't even know what I'm on. It's gonna be some good behind the scenes footage you guys got going on.